Get yourself as comfortable as possible. And we are going to start in a seated position. So you want support for your back, whether that be a wall or the back of a sofa, um, whatever it is that you need. And just allow yourself to be fully supported. And if you have the playlist, you can go ahead and press play. Hi, Laura. <laughs> so the playlist, just so that you know, the playlist I put in the chat box, um, I'll repost it so that you can see it. And we're gonna start in a seated position. And if you need to have a wall, that's fine. So I'm going to start my playlist. And take your time. Allowing yourself to arrive. No rush. No rush at all. have not started your playlist, you definitely can start it now. And in your seated position, allow yourself to be fully supported. Again, your back against a wall or the back of your sofa. Legs can be crossed or long with support underneath your knees, your hips raised, sitting on a blanket, whatever is most comfortable for you. And I invite you to just simply allow yourself to arrive Camera can be on or off, it does not matter. This is your practice. Again, back supported. Whether that be a wall, a back of a sofa, legs can be crossed or long. And I invite you to either close your eyes or keep them open at a soft gaze. Just allow yourself to simply arrive. Noticing that you're breathing. And in the seated position, hands can be placed wherever you feel most comfortable, whether that be on your knees, on your thighs. Starting from the crown of the head, just relaxing the brow. Relaxing the eyes. Relaxing the cheeks. Relaxing the lips and the tongue. And again, I invite you to open up your jaw, open up your mouth, releasing the jaw, maybe moving it side to side and then gently closing it.
relaxing the throat. Relaxing the shoulders. Back is strong, but not strained. Heart is open. Stomach relaxed. Noticing and feeling the support beneath you. Allowing your hips and your legs to sink into that support. And for these next few moments of just communal silence, just allowing yourself to connect. Perhaps this is the first time that you've been able to pause and to stop, to be still. I invite you to do it with compassion, with gentleness, no judgment. No questioning, just be present. Making sure that you're breathing, your natural flow of breath, not trying to shape it. Just rest. Ten more breaths here. these last few breaths, maybe they are the deepest breaths that you've taken. Deeply inhaling in through the nose. Exhaling out through the mouth or nose. Do that four more times. Perhaps you add a sigh to it on the exhale. Inhaling, exhaling. Two more times, inhaling deeply, exhaling. And when you're ready, only when you're ready. Just taking our hands and placing them to the side of our body. Fingertips can be touching the ground or palms flushed against the ground, it does not matter. 
And we're just going to raise our right hand and extend it over stretching. Perhaps turning your head, looking up, the heart facing upward. And then placing the right hand down, lifting the left, stretching over. And just do that at your own rhythm, making sure that you're breathing. Inhaling, arm up, exhaling. Breathing. And I invite you to rotate your wrists, open up your fingers. Really feeling the stretch in the side of the body. We'll do this two more times. Just flowing, yes. Breathe, beautiful. And when you're ready, just returning back to center. We're going to take our right hand, place it on our left knee for a spinal twist. Breathing here. Looking over the shoulder. Breathe. And when you're ready, coming back to center, going to the opposite side. Placing the left hand on the right knee for a spinal twist. Breathe, making sure that you're not gripping. And when you're ready, coming back to center. We're just gonna do some seated cat cows, so Rounding the spine, taking the navel center back, then bringing the heart forward, leaning the head back. Just moving to your own rhythm. Cat cow, seated cat cow. And you can make this as dramatic as you like. Really stretching the spine. Two more times. Beautiful. Getting inside your body, moving your body. One more time. And when you're ready, coming back to center. We're gonna work our shoulders a little bit more. So you're already going where I'm going. <laughs> so let's go ahead and raise our right hand, placing our right palm on our left ear. And we're gonna go ahead and bring our right ear to our right shoulder. Filling that space, breathing into that space. And I invite you to take your fingertips to the earth, really feeling that stretch. Breathing here. Continuing to breathe. And when you're ready, slowly release, bring that head up. And let's just stop here. Noticing the difference between the two, being mindful of that. We hold so much tension in our neck. And when you're ready, go ahead and raise that left hand, placing it on the right ear. And then gently, with ease and grace, lowering that left ear to the left shoulder. 
and that right hand can be on the earth, on the fingertips or palm down. Breathe here. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. Taking the arms down. Let's just work our shoulders, our shoulder blades, our back a little bit more. So taking your hands out to a T. Wide. And we're gonna cross the right arm over the left. And our hands, our palms are either touching our shoulder blades or any variation of that. Just breathe here. And then we're just gonna take our elbows and raise them up, opening up the back. Breathing here, lowering them down. Let's do that one more time. Open up, lower down. Open up, lower down. And you have the invitation of staying right here. and extending the invitation yours for the choosing for going into eagle arms. Breathing here. Again, it is only an invitation, yours to choose or not. And then let's go ahead and raise our arms up, really feeling that stretch. in the upper arm, the shoulders. Breathing here. And if you like, maybe just extending the arms forward just a little bit. Two more times. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. Feeling the difference and maybe shrug your shoulders up and back around. Getting into that neck, getting into the shoulders. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, Let's go ahead and take our arms out to a T one more time. And then crossing the left over the right. Breathing here. And you have the invitation of staying right here. Or let's go ahead and raise the elbows up. Oh. Connecting your breath, breathing here. Beautiful, at your own rhythm. And again, you have the invitation of staying right here. Extending the invitation, yours are the choosing for eagle arms on this side. And continuing with that motion of raising the arms. Breathing here. Beautiful. Three more times. And if you'd like to go ahead and extend those arms out just a little bit to feel that stretch, 
just to your edge of whatever that is in terms of comfortability. It should not hurt. Just really getting into the neck muscles, those back muscles. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. And then pause. Noticing how you feel. You may even want to drop the head and move the head side to side. And when you're ready, just come back to center and just pause. How do you feel? Is there a little bit more ease there? And even if there's not, the idea of the fact that you're taking care of yourself, which is the most important thing. And when you're ready, we're going to come seated. If your legs are crossed, go ahead and uncross them and our legs are gonna come out to a V. So it's gonna be a wide angle fold. And you may want something to sit on, like a blanket or what have you. Taking your legs wide like a V. And we're just gonna go in circles, small circles starting out. Allowing our sit bones to be grounded. They don't have to be large circles. Hands can be on knees or on shins or thighs. It matters not. And you can stay right here. You have the invitation of staying right here. Or you can make it larger circles. And if you've gone in one direction, make sure you go into the other one. But being mindful of how your body feels, how do your hips feel? How does your side body feel? We'll be here a good six or eight breaths, so just move like you need to. If you need to stay in one spot, do that. And if you want to add your arms, oh, whatever works for you. Maybe sweeping the floor. Oh. And make sure that you're breathing, letting it all out. You hear my moans and sighs. <laughs> Something about being able to move the body. Three more breaths here. And move like you need to. And when you're ready, coming back to center, we're just going to take our hands before us and we're going to fold forward, walking our hands ever so gently forward. As much as possible, the toes should be pointed towards the ceiling. But wherever they are, they're perfect. And you'll feel the stretch on the inside of your legs and just breathe here. We'll be here a good 10 breaths. You 
can come out of it as you need. If you want to rest your head on a book or a block or what have you, that's perfectly fine. Breathing here. You feel this in the hip. Breathe. Continuing to breathe. of your feet on the mat, hip distance apart, and let's just go ahead and move our knees from side to side. Not going too fast. This is a slow windshield wiper move. <laughs> and really feel it. It helps with the stretch that we just did, the wide V angle stretch, wide angle uh, fold. Hmm. Really feeling it. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, coming back to center, placing the soles of our feet together and allowing the knee to go on either side of your mat for butterfly pose. And the soles of the feet can be close to the body or further out, it matters not. And just breathe here. If you need to have something underneath your knees as a form of support, I invite you to do that. And just breathe. And before we go forward in a fold, let's just dynamically move. So folding forward, coming back up. Inhale, taking the hands, walking the hands. You'll feel this stretch in your hips. Inhale up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale up. Exhale, folding forward. And we're gonna stay here for a good six or eight breaths. If you need something to place your head on, that's fine. Just relaxing here. Going within. Or folds are like that. It's more so the insight within, seeing within, as opposed to what's going on on the outside. Bowing to that gentle, beautiful soul within. Five more breaths here. Thank you. 
you're ready, only when you're ready, slowly coming back up. And we're gonna do that windshield wiper. So just bring both knees up, soles of the feet on the mat. And again, windshield wiper, nice and slow, not fast. And yours for the choosing, if you like, to do reverse tabletop here, just to provide a little bit of heat, raising up, head going back, breathing here. When you're done with that, come on back down. And hang out there as long as you like or not. And eventually, if you are doing the reverse tabletop, come on back down. And we're just gonna swing around to hands and knees. Make sure that you have something underneath your knees. And just breathe here. Taking whatever movements that you need, moving the hips side to side. So if you haven't noticed, this practice is all about being in the hips. <laughs> Just move side to side. Maybe making circles. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend that right foot back. Breathing here. It can be raised or the toes touching the mat. But just breathe here. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend that left arm like you're shaking someone's hand and breathe. Three breaths here. Breathe. And when you're ready, go ahead and place that left hand down, right knee down. Moving side to side, perhaps even cat cow. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend the left leg, extending out that right hand, breathing here. Breathe. And when you're ready, go ahead and lower that right hand down, left knee, breathe. So when you're ready, only when you're ready, go ahead and take that right foot and place it in between your hands, or you can have blocks. And when you're ready, just coming up and this is our crescent lunge, if you will, our lunge, our low lunge, breathing here, balancing, breathing here. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, Placing the left hand on a block or a book. Just going to raise up that right arm for a twist. Breathing here. Three breaths here. And 
And when you're ready, bring that right hand down, taking that right knee back with the left knee. Breathe. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, go ahead and bring that left foot forward in between. And when you balance, coming up. Beautiful. Breathing here. And when you're ready, placing that right hand either on your mat or on a block and doing a twist, raising the left. Beautiful. Breathe here. Breathing. And when you're ready, go ahead and release, bringing the hand down taking the left knee back with the right, breathing here, and when you're ready, tucking the toes for our only downward facing dog of the evening, so just coming up, downward facing dog, breathe. And when you're ready, go ahead and raise that right leg, breathing here. And when you're ready, bringing it through to pigeon. So you wanna bring it through and this is an option in terms of pigeon. The left leg is back. The right leg is crossed in front of you with the right foot on the left side of the mat. Breathing here. And if pigeon is not your jam, that's absolutely fine. Extending another invitation to go into figure four on your back. Just like this. And just breathe, whether it be figure four or pigeon from downward facing dog, just breathe here, using the support in terms of whatever you need. Continuing to breathe. Five more breaths here. And when you're ready, if you're in pigeon, just slowly come out of that. Doing whatever it is that you need to bring yourself back to balance. Perhaps taking a child's pose. Resting here for a second. If you're on your back, just take the sole of that foot and place it on the mat with both knees bent. And just pause here. Pause wherever you're at. Taking in what it is that you need, noticing how your body feels, noticing how you feel. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, you're in child's pose, coming to hands and knees and
perhaps going into downward facing dog one more time. Or you can go straight to pigeon if you like on the other side. Going to downward facing dog, lifting that left leg. And moving it through, going into pigeon. If you're on your back, going to your left side, raising that left leg and placing it on the right knee. Breathing here. And this side may feel different. That's okay. Breathing deeply. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, slowly release. If you're in pigeon, just come out gently. like going back into child's pose. <coughs> if you're on your back, just placing the sole of that left foot on your mat and just pausing there. And if you're in child's pose, just come forward and come to your belly. If you're on your back, just go ahead and gently turn over to your belly. And pause here. Noticing the rise and fall of your stomach against the earth. The rise and fall of your chest against the earth. The subtle rise and fall of your hips, of your legs and thighs, even your feet. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, raising that right knee in line with your right hip for half frog. Nettles, another subtle opening of the hip. We'll be here another eight to ten breaths. Thank you. 
And if you like, only if you like, you can extend that right leg long. Breathing into that hip, breathing into the thigh, bringing it to the knee, breathing into the ankle and the feet and the toes. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, taking that right leg, aligning it with the left leg. And pausing. <clears throat> not really in a rush to get to the next side, but just allowing yourself to feel, sense, and know this present moment right now. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, raising the left knee in line with the left hip for half frog on the other side. here a good eight to ten breaths. And much like the other side, the invitation is yours for the choosing of staying right here or extending that left leg if you so choose. It is a simple invitation, one for you to choose how you see fit. more breaths here. Breathing deeply into the hip, into that thigh and knee, the lower leg, the foot, the toes. when you're ready, only when you're ready, taking the left leg back in line with the right leg.
And we have come upon the last six or eight minutes of our time together in community. So I invite you to get into your final pose, whatever that looks like. That may be right where you're at on your belly. That may be on your side. Could be on your back. Could even be seated. Whatever that looks like for you. But the most important thing is that you are as comfortable as possible. Taking whatever final movements that you feel that you may need before settling in. Again, being as comfortable as possible. Allowing yourself to be fully supported. And allowing yourself to be fully held. And as you are settling even deeper into your practice on this evening, just allow yourself to Take in all of what you have nourished and filled yourself with this past hour or so. Feel it permeate throughout your body, that sense of nourishment, that sense of fulfillment that sense of just being able to be still and to pause. you these words out of the Radiant Sutras. And it says this, the one who is intimate to all beings replies, beloved, your questions require the answers that come through direct living experience. The way of experience begins with a breath, such as the breath you are breathing now. Awakening into luminous reality may dawn in the momentary throb between any two breaths. Exhaling, breath is released and flows out. There is a pulse as it turns to flow in. In that turn, you are empty enter that emptiness as the source of all life. Inhaling, breathe 
flow, breath flows in, filling, nourishing, just as it turns to flow out. There is a flash of pure joy. Life is renewed. Kindred know that life begins with breath. Life is sustained with breath. And with each inhale and exhale and the pauses in between, it is always a new beginning. It is symbolic of that. Notice that you are breathing. Become aware of the sound of your breath. Become aware of the sounds to your body. Become aware of the sounds within the room. Become aware of the sounds outside of the room. Begin to deepen your inhale and your exhale. Do that one more time. Deeply inhaling, deeply exhaling. And when you're ready, introducing small movements to your fingers, to your toes, moving your head side to side. And with ease and grace, however you get there, we will come to a seated position, taking your time. can be crossed or straight, it does not matter. Taking our left hand, placing it on our heart, our right on top of our left, gently tucking our chin. May you be happy and peaceful. 
May you be strong and healthy. May you be confident and courageous. May you be safe and protected. May you be at ease with yourself just as you are, leaving nothing out. Thank you for this beautiful practice on this Sunday evening. May you be well, may you be safe, and always, always, always take care. Namaste. So I'm unmuting you. You don't have to unmute if you don't want to. Good to see everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. My hips are open. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, you know what I needed because that's what I do. I, I needed to open my hips. I was practicing with you guys. I know I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to be white, but I was like, I had to get into my hips because I they were stiff and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all. And uh, make sure that you take care. Um, take time out for yourself. Take the pauses that you need. You know, things can be intense, but just just take care, okay? You too. Have a all right. Yeah. Have a good, good one. Good night, See everybody. you later. All right. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>